my friends. I learned a new word today, neuroplasticity. We'll get to that in a minute. First, I think I feel like I need to justify today's video. As you know, I get a lot of requests from different companies to review products. And what you may not know is that I turn 90% of them down because I don't feel that they're either appropriate to you, my audience, or um, they're not something that I would personally use. Um, if I think it's something that I will personally use, um, I readily do it because they send it to me for free and I do a video and then I get to keep it. <laughs> this one was different. I turned it down. Um, matter of fact, I turned it down twice, but there was a word in the invitation that caught my attention. And the word was robotic. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. This is about a robotic glove for stroke rehabilitation. And my initial thought was this has nothing to do with my audience. This isn't um, anything that you signed up for when you started watching my channel about l retiring and living in Mexico or RVing. But I did some research just because that word robotic caught my attention. And I found out some interesting things. First of all, I was not aware of the incidence, um, the statistical incidence of stroke. And when I looked at my audience analysis, which uh, YouTube allows we re YouTube creators to look at, I see that my audience you, 81% of you are over 55, and 50% 50 of you are over 65. Strokes are the most common cause of death in the United States. And if stroke doesn't get you, it disables, in 87% of the cases, your arm and your hand. So today's video is going to be a bit of a reality check. It was for me. My father died at the age of 91 of a stroke. And if I look back 13 years ago, I was 65 and getting excited about getting Medicare. That was only seems like yesterday. And if I look ahead 13 years, I'll be 91. And that's starting to feel like tomorrow. Anyway, I decided that you, my audience, uh, a robotic glove for uh, rehabilitation uh, if you're a stroke victim would be appropriate. And statistical odds are you or someone you know and love will have a stroke. And I don't care if you're under 55, I don't care if you're 25, time will come that I hope you'll have this video bookmarked in the back of your mind. So what is stroke? Stroke is an interruption of the blood supply to the brain, and what happens is that cells in the brain die, and often they are those cells which control motor functions and muscles in other parts of the body. Turns out, however, that there is this concept, this thing called neuroplasticity. Hey, Google, what is neuroplasticity? According to Wikipedia, neuroplasticity, also known as neuroplasticity or brain plasticity, is the ability of neural networks in the brain to change through growth and reorganization. It is when the brain is rewired to function in some way that differs from how it previously functioned. So what this robotic glove does is it helps you reestablish the neural connections between your motor function of your hand and your brain, because stroke rehabilitation in this case is as much a training of the brain as, as it is a rehabilitation of the muscles. Well, let's take a look at this magic glove. This is the nice packaging that it comes in. Let's unpack it. Here's what we got. So.
Cerebo. The same company, Cerebo, also sent me a miniature TENS machine. We're going to try that out on Lynn in another video. We have the power cable, an exercise ball. This is called the data glove. The robotic glove, the exercise cushion, and what they call the host, which is the brains that makes it all work. I'll get back to you when I figure out how the Cyrebo rehabilitation glove works. Their motto, by the way, I'm reading this off of the box, gain beautiful life with your hands. I read the manual. You get it online in a PDF format. It's pretty straightforward. As soon as you learn how to uh, set up the host, turns out that the power cord is only used to charge the internal battery, which you don't actually have to have it hooked up to power when you're using it. There are two modes set by the host. The first is passive training where this robotic glove simply opens and closes and opens and closes. And then the other mode is mirror training. So you put this glove on your good hand and whatever you do with your good hand is repeated by your debilitated hand. I'll turn it on. You can see what the glove is doing. This is the passive training mode. It's just opening and closing. And the interval of how long it stays open or closed is set on the host. So let me put it on and we'll see what I think it feels like. This is a large, they come in different sizes. I've always thought of my hands as being medium, but it fits good. This goes over your wrist. And there's a thing on the back that comes over and holds it. Now, I'm just going to let you trust that I am, in fact, not doing this with my hand. It is the glove doing it. This is not a debilitated hand, but I'm not doing this. It's comfortable. It's definitely stretching out my fingers. Making a fist. Oh, here. I'm going to call that punching mode. <laughs> we can use this little pad to lay on to make it more comfortable. That was passive training mode, and now we're going to try mirror mode where this glove goes on the good hand, and this hand mirrors what you do with this one. This should be interesting. Oh, I already had my hand clenched. Let's grab a ball. Now there's another thing about this. Let me shut this off. These valves back here control the fingers and the thumb individually. So if I wanted to practice pinching like this, I would shut the valves off for these three fingers. Now let's see what happens. Oh. 
<laughs> what happened was I couldn't straighten them out. Now I should go. It's all fun and games till you need one. You can't do this and <laughs> work on those. So I have to do it with it shut off. It didn't hurt or anything. It just, I couldn't do what I needed to do. So I've got three fingers shut off. I only have my pointer finger and my thumb finger that are going to be activated. And if I pinch, it pinches, but these three didn't. So I can pinch the ball and drop the ball. Whoa, did you see that? I caught the ball. Oh, slipped off. That's working pretty good. What else can we do? It's all fun and games with the ball, but maybe you want to practice some practical things. You know, this whole idea about that new word I learned, neuroplasticity, reminds me of a story about my mother. It came to pass when she was like, I don't know, 97, that her thumb stopped working. And the doctor said, well, there's two tendons that go to your pointer finger, and we could detach one and hook it on to your thumb. And so she proceeded with the surgery, and then she had to go to physical therapy in order to help the brain learn that that tendon went to the thumb instead of the pointer finger. And she was um, using in that therapy the idea of neuroplasticity. But I say, hey, mom, you got to be really careful. You're going to be pointing at something and wind up hitchhiking. <laughs> Did we have fun today? I hope so, even though it's a serious subject. The real deal is, I hope you never have to use this glove. But if you do, like I said earlier in the video, I hope you've got this video bookmarked in the back of your mind for the statistical inevitability that you or someone you know or love will need it someday. As always, link in the description below, 12% off directly from Cerebo. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up and please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.